Welcome to, Season 4, Units Overview. Let's start. Janissaries. Tier 3, with 195 leadership, they have great damage for that tier, but low on health and defense, high accuracy with bipod, they can't shot without it, rate of fire is slower, even with epic plus 16% rate of fire doctrine, only downside for me is that they need to set up, before shooting. The Zaps. Tier 4, with 240 leadership, great assault units, with nice ability, that can reduce incoming damage, and stun units and heroes, dealing blunt damage, like foot kicks. Can parry with paladins and berserkers, overall very nice and solid unit. Silahdars. Tier 5, with 350 leadership, A, K, A, salads. Because they can chop. Solid damage, solid movement speed, in theory, the shields on their belly, can bounce arrows, they have great short high burst damage. But is it worth for 350? They don't have block break, so you need, raw damage, to break it, and I love those big axes. Siparis. Tier 4, with 260 leadership, I like that second shock ability, dealing area blunt damage, around 2k plus, great close combat cavalry, but cavalry in melee combat is, dead cavalry, you can still do a lot, from flanks, but we now have, Amiga Lancers, cheaper and more versatile. And for the end, what units is worth to unlock? If I'm a new players, I will go for Janissaries and Azaps, but only for your fun, you don't need them for territory war or for playing casual siege, but if you are a collectionist, and you need to have, every unit's unlocked. Go for it, you can skip this season, if you want, and focus on better seasonal units. I you have any questions about seasonal units, join my discord, link will be in descriptions. Thank you for watching and see you next time, peace.